My name is Carrie, and I'm the creator of Psycho Spiritual Wellness. And in this video, I'm talking about hedonic eating, what it is, why it's a problem, and how to stop. Before we get started, allow me to briefly introduce myself. Again, my name is Carrie. I'm the creator of Psycho Spiritual Wellness, and that is an approach to stopping compulsive eating rooted 100% in psychological and spiritual practices. I don't talk about diets, I don't talk about exercise, it's all about the mental game and the feelings game. Let's dive straight into it. What is hedonic eating? It is such a weird word. Hedonic eating is eating for pleasure. And while that might sound like all kinds of eating, it is specifically eating very high reward foods Particularly, we are especially vulnerable to this when we don't have joy and pleasure elsewhere in our lives. So we compulsively seek joy and pleasure from food because we're not getting it from anywhere else. I got this phrase from clinical research and I'll try and be fancy and put the title of that study that I got it from here and I'll also link it down below. But pretty much hedonic eating does not look like binge eating a bag of potato chips at night when really potato chips aren't exactly what you wanted but the crunch is what you wanted but it doesn't really hit the spot that is not hedonic eating because it is not high reward and it's not really bringing joy and pleasure yeah there is some degree of pleasure but it, it's not that high reward pleasurable foods now if you really love let's say cookie dough ice cream and you find yourself binge eating cookie dough ice cream late at night and even if you don't want to be eating it and you hate yourself for eating it but you're also really enjoying every single bite that is hedonic eating now please listen to the following part very carefully a lot of people when they read my article on hedonic eating or they hear me talk about it they think that's it that's the thing that i struggle with and i agree that a lot of us really struggle in this area because we have very busy lives and a lot of us don't really know what brings us joy and pleasure however hedonic eating is rarely ever the only problem and as i explain the process of overcoming hedonic eating you'll see why but i just really want to get that out there first is that hedonic eating is a common problem but it is rarely the only problem okay with that said the cure for hedonic eating is very straightforward but it is can be difficult and the cure is to add joy and pleasure to your life outside of food. Find things that bring you joy and schedule them into your life like they are the priority that they are. For some people, you can do this and be done with it. And congratulations, it was very simple, very easy. But that is not the majority of people that struggle with compulsive eating because if it was that simple, none of us would be struggling with it this much. Fit there's so much that goes into finding your joy. A lot of us don't know what our joy is. A lot of us maybe know what brings us joy, but we struggle with the other obligations in our lives. We struggle with finding time. And time is a really interesting dilemma because it's almost like a band-aid I, I really do believe that there are many of us that have very busy lives, especially if you're a working mom and you have many small children. But often, when we can't find time, it is because we probably have poor boundaries somewhere in our life. And maintaining boundaries is really hard, especially if you're a people pleaser. Because in order to draw boundaries and create boundaries and create more time for yourself, there is someone, somewhere, that is not going to like it. Because you're essentially, to create more time for yourself, you have to take it away from the other person that you are giving it to. And so this is the work of psycho-spiritual wellness, is holding space for that discomfort. I am willing to upset other people when it is appropriate and when it is for my own best interest. And if that sounds selfish, I don't think that it is. I don't think that you taking time to take care of yourself and find joy and pleasure in your life, I don't think that's selfish at all. 
I think that that is you putting your oxygen mask on first before you help put it on someone else. As you work to create boundaries and find time for joy, pay attention to who, who is it that you are struggling with creating boundaries. Is it your children? Is it your significant other? Is it your friends? Is it work? Work is a big one. And where do you need to draw boundaries? What does that look like? And how can you hold space for how extremely uncomfortable it is to draw those boundaries and disappoint that person and have not everyone happy with you? You'll, you'll see a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about right now has a lot to do with people pleasing and I think that people pleasing and hedonic eating tend to overlap a lot. And if you really struggle with finding time for joy, if you really just struggle with, with making space for joy in your life outside of food, there is likely a belief that's getting in the way. And that is what my workbook, Why We Do the Things We Do, is really good for. That workbook is about stopping self-sabotage by shining a light on the subconscious beliefs that trigger self-sabotage around food. And the premise of my workbook is that behind every desire to eat when we aren't hungry, including hedonic eating, we are somehow getting a greater benefit from the unwanted eating pattern than from being without it. So we are actually getting a greater positive benefit from binge eating cookie dough ice cream, even though we really don't want to be binge eating cookie dough ice cream, than from holding the boundary somewhere else in our lives, from doing the other thing that needs to be done somewhere else in our life. And that's what that workbook is really good for. It's full of lots of prompts and self-inquiry so that you can dig beneath the surface and figure out what are the beliefs that are causing me to not carve out the time for myself that I want to. So I highly recommend that resource if you really struggle with feeling stuck and blocked and you don't know why. And so there you have it. Hedonic eating is eating for pleasure and joy, eating really high pleasure, high reward foods because we don't have pleasure and joy elsewhere in our lives. And often the thing that is preventing us from adding more joy and pleasure into our life, it is very difficult to address that thing. And so you can use tools like the Why We Do The Things We Do workbook or we can just practice holding space for how uncomfortable it is to have healthy boundaries. It's not easy. And as I'm sure you can already guess, the stop, drop, and feel is a really good tool for holding space for those uncomfortable emotions. If you don't know what that tool is, it's my number one tool. It has always been my number one tool for psychospiritual wellness. I'll link to it up here somewhere and also down below. And I hope this video was helpful. Now, it has been nine months since I last posted a YouTube video. I am very sorry. I even filmed a couple, but there was no audio and it was very frustrating. But I have not been not busy. Wait. I have been working feverishly this year because I actually launched two new products. I have the brand new, well, kind of new, brand new as of earlier this year, the Stop, Drop, and Feel Masterclass. And I built that because, like I said, the Stop, Drop, and Feel really is the number one tool to stop compulsive eating. It helps you address the root trigger behind the compulsion. It has been the number one tool this entire time and it still is to this day. And then, very recently, I launched the Stopping Sugar Addiction Stopping Sugar Addiction, the Psycho-Spiritual Way workbook. And I created that one simply because you guys were asking for it. I was hearing a lot of people talking about feeling addicted to sugar and really struggling, really struggling particularly with sugar. So that workbook, I'm very proud of it. It contains lots of articles, fancy flow charts, and worksheets. Not as many worksheets as in the Why We Do the Things We Do workbook. But I personally think that the flowcharts are very helpful. It's a very good beginner's guide to psycho-spiritual wellness. So I'll link to that down below. And also th I also think that the Sugar Addiction Workbook and Why We Do the Things We Do like work perfectly together. So if you struggle with hedonic eating, I think that the Sugar Addiction, most of us, hedonic eating, ice cream, high rewards foods, I think that the Sugar Addiction Workbook is a really good fit 
but I also think that both of them together is the two best tools specifically for hedonic eating so there you have it I have been busy but I have not been busy making videos as I always say I am not good with making videos I really I put them off I, I enjoy them but I also don't enjoy making them but if you want inspiration motivation for psycho spiritual wellness I really recommend getting on my email list because I send newsletters with pretty damn good regularity so you can sign up for my newsletter down below you can get on my list by signing up for my free ebook the spiritual seekers guide to stop binge eating and that will put you on the list to get my weekly Tuesday newsletter and I think that's it I think that's it yeah I told you what I've been up to this year and I'm very excited there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff happening next year in 2022 so if you want to get updated on that get on my email list and I hope to make you another video sooner than later but as usual no promises so get on my email list because I can make promises that I will email you every damn week via email so all right I hope this video was helpful if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch my very irregular videos and show support for my channel it really means a lot to me so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one don't forget there's a ton of links down below there's a ton of links down below